Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to create uh, desert and sand texture from scratch. So you can avail the effect like this, like this, 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 this. Okay guys, so welcome to my channel. Let's get started. First of all, we will take your document. Uh, I have taken it uh, 600, 600 pixel. You can take any size of you as you want. First of all, we will take another layer and fill it with black or grey, anything, any color of any shade of grey. Fill it with grey and then uh, the turn it into smart object. And then add filter and noise. Uh, in my document it's uh, 11, 12, uh, 13 maybe, 13 percent is ok. Uniform or Gaussian. Gaussian will make much more larger, larger particles of sand and uniform will make smaller. Very fine, fine particles of, uh, of sand as you wish. I am choosing uniform right now. It's ok. Now choose the color of the sand. Just Just take in solid color adjustment layer and then choose the color of sand like this. Think this one I think that's okay. Make the blending mode multiply. Now what we'll do we'll just take another la uh, level adjustment layer to bring much more contrast to remove the much to remove the contrast from the sand texture now we will go to the layer and noise layer and change the blend if uh, so we have to remove the black particles we have to decrease the bla black particles from this from this uh, sand texture and in introduce some white texture so for, for this we will to we will have to just remove the slider from black towards the white here it is. I think it's okay for this. Maybe a little bit far. Ah, that's okay. Look at that. It's okay. <coughs> now, uh, sorry. Now we'll do anything. Just uh, the sand is uh, nearly ready. We'll now create another layer uh, to create the texture of desert, which is easily seen in the. Which I take the gradient tool and here I've created gradient from grey to white gradually and then sharp sharp change from white to grey and then again grey to white and then sharp change to white to grey I have not choose black because it is that will be that will create much more contrast the into white and black so I choose grey so just make sure the mode is normal and here it is. If, if you can, if you want to make uh, more frequent this line, you, you have to choose drag smaller and then again from there. This is now what we'll do. You can change, do one thing, you can just uh, drag it over a uh, little bit of slanted so the depth. So, it so the illusion of the depth is created. You can drag it like this slantedly. I think that's cool here. Now uh, change the blending mode to divide. Now what we'll do, we'll uh, make the texture more realistic by making some curve on this. So we'll go to filter and liquify. Make sure the pressure is low, not much. And density nearly 50 percent, nearly 60 percent. And then just this kind of 
this kind of curvature you have to create on over the not everywhere equal just randomly you have to create before the i am just uh, pressing alt control z to go backward before the before creating the curvature we have to make sure this part this part of the layer is uh, okay so we have to, ch to choose the gradient tool again and select the part because there is a big highlight i select the part and uh, I can add some. I think that's okay. Now go to this filter and liquify. Just try look what it's okay. Okay, just I I haven't uh, just used uh, the liquify again. I just use this uh, this uh, liquify because it is uh, just repeat the last used liquify filter. Now what we'll do? We'll choose the smudge tool to smudge this effect a little bit more or more realistically smudge tool makes like the sand is flowing over the edges make it a bit bigger You can go to the uh, now. This uh, sand is uh, near created. You can choose the color differently if you want. If you want to, uh, you just tweak the level. The uh, sand seems more noisy or m more fine as you want. So to allow to, you can ch change the blending, blend if slider. It looks. Uh, more fine and then more sandy like look this and there there it is whatever as you like it will in this uh, in this setting it is it looks like uh, the light is uh, coming from this way and the it's nearly sunset time it looks like and for this it looking like a little bit brighter daylight as you like it is more looks and more looks uh, much more noisy and here much more finer result you will get it's still up to you whatever you can also divide the slider by pressing the alt button of your keyboard and then divide it you can also do this look at the sand is created it's totally up to you how you make this texture, do they make these curves over the sand. It will make the difference overall. You can take another curve adjustment layer and you can give it much more contrast. <coughs> Change the blending mode to luminosity and look at it, it will give it much more contrast. I don't think that will be much will be okay, then that's okay. I think. Can change the name to soft light or maybe color. 
to change the to give it much more vibrant color you can change the opacity to so guys this is it this is the this is my tutorial if you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future updates if you want to ask anything if you want to say me anything please uh, give me a comment i will surely revert back to you thanks again have a nice day